Hey guys, Knox here, Knox Box. Recently I got a package from Bare Bones and uh, I'm gonna do a little uh, experimentation, if you will, combining a couple of different products. Uh, Bare Bones in particular, I really like their handles. Their handles are what keep them, at least for me, you know, over the line, what gives them the, you know, what's their strong point, and really, what, I mean, for me, the femur handle, best of all, of course, and at the <clears throat> coffin handles, named by yours truly, aren't bad either, but particularly tonight, we're going to be talking about law lock tools, the law lock tool handles, and then I'm going to make a monstrosity here between a monkey's paw and add it to the bone yoke. So essentially making a, I don't know, what would you call this thing, a monkey bone yoke rat, something like that. <laughs> well, uh, I don't know. I guess let's build it first and name it later, right? So, that's one project. And then the other project, which is the one I'm a little more excited about. And I guess I'll explain a little more a bit about it. Right now, I have it clamped up because we're going to have to clean it. That's actually my new Bosnian Bill Vice digging it. A law lock tool. And here, let me take it out of the vise to show you the point of the handles. Is while I love these things, the serrations here are real sharp. And I mean, it doesn't matter how much you take them down with sandpaper or even with a, a Dremel tool or something like that. That's just not not really plausible. So. Bare Bones came up with a solution to that. And just like the coffin handles, you lay them inside, put glue on them, snap them together, or line them together best they go in this case. The coffin handles have a little more snap to them, as do the, the rat yokes or bone yokes. And then, in my case, I'll be using Gorilla Glue. And then, rather, I'm not going to mess with my vise. So, I'm just going to simply use a clip like that. And just make sure to you hear that snap, that click. That's what you want to hear. But, ultimately, that's the idea. But first, got to clean it up a little bit. Let me see if I can. There you go. Yeah, it's still got a little dirt on there. This is brand new out of the law lock thing. And as you see, the smoky paw is brand new too. So uh, next time you see me, I should have I should have them cleaned up and ready to glue into handles. All right. Okay, now that I've put in a decent shine to the top one, you can see to the unpolished one on the bottom there I mean I removed a good amount of dirt so you get no false seed back give it a nice little shine I just wanted to show you nice up and close you know what a finished picture look like Okay, next step's putting that handle on. I see you can even see in the tips here where I sh tried to shape it like a point. So this way I can get through the bottom key pins. I guess there's a lot of things I should be pointing out, but that's for the next chrome your bones. All right. Okay. <clears throat> At this stage, we're going to be putting the uh, Gorilla Glue onto the handles. 
and then onto the pick itself. The Gorilla Glue just so to dab every couple inches, but we're uh, we're getting it kind of good. Okay. Place the handle in there. Now we're gonna put a few drops on the top. Make sure that bottom part's set. It's good and even. Let's see, everything's lined up. Put a clip. I'm not there, I'm gonna put that in my vise. Okay, so <clears throat> now that we've had a shine and we've added the adhesive of Gorilla Glue to our law lock handles and it's had time to set. So as you see, it was partially in a vise. Let me see if I can flip this in a way. Okay, now. I'm going to take it out of the vise real quick. And then this was the clip he saw me put on there just to hold it tight. Now, <clears throat> I did go over certain spots repeatedly trying to fill in the gaps. As you can see in certain spots it's still a little wide. But, uh, I mean, for the most part, I think I did an okay job. I mean, this side, you're not going to be holding so much. So, <clears throat> the type of Gorilla Glue I use is the Super, uh, Super Gel. So, it's a very thick consistency. And, <clears throat> as you saw when I was adding it on here multiple times this has now significant weight and i like that uh when i first took them out of the pack i don't know uh, they almost seemed like flimsy i was very afraid that they might break i mean of course before i put them on but i mean i thought even after they were on that possibly these scales might you know crack or fracture and i could tell you no way. Not at all. That is not something you have to worry about. So if that's been any type of apprehension for you, I can tell you that is definitely a non-issue. Look at that. Nice and clean. Nice clean polish. Nice clean fit. And I'm telling you, it makes a nice... Let's see. <clears throat> Makes a nice easy pick. Piano wire. Again, that's the gem kind of format. I mean, look at that. To me, that just that fits nice. And it's got the little groove at the bottom for your fingers. This is a bad tensioner. Let me use one of the uh, 
Let's see. The Chris Capone one fit. All right, let's see. One, two, half back out. One, two, three. Hmm. I don't know which one's getting over so, so easy. There we go. Okay. As you can see, this is my older revolver. The good one. <laughs> Wait until you see the revolver tricks that uh, <laughs> I've come up with as far as uh, I think you'll find them interesting. But <clears throat> that's going to bring it to a conclusion as far as Project 1. I have the bare bones. Well, I'll lock handles and I like them a lot I'm gonna start putting them on all the other law lock handles or picks I'm gonna use but I've got the uh, the rat bone mo hey, the rat bone monkey yoke or something like that I'm gonna call it I haven't decided yet that's the uh, handle that's uh, I'm drawing in the other vise now. And then I have the, this one here is a square. It's called the rib bone. I haven't decided what pick I'm going to put in there. I'm thinking maybe a high reach of one of the butcher's blocks. Or maybe a, a, a Sparrow's SS Dev, something like that. But yeah, I was really surprised, honestly. I was, I was a little afraid that I thought these were brittle. And uh, with that medium gel glue, it adds a little weight to the handle. And just, I love it, dude. I could finally use my little lock tools. Yeah, baby. Remember, anything is possible when everything is unlockable. Stay tuned for part two for the... Rat bone monkey yoke, and then three for the rib bone. All right, more bare bones projects coming at you.